Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of so this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. The Lord have me to warn somebody about your house. This is a message to believers, a chosen one, a warrior in the front line. God is saying, don't allow the enemy to possess your house. You see all that movement, all that fear that they are trying to create. You have to stand and rebuke it. Somebody praying for you is not enough. You have to stand and rebuke it. Because the Lord gave you that house for you to be able to sleep. Eat your food, rest. What is house all about? It is to find where to rest. When you have had a very busy day, you walk into your home, you have a place to eat, you have a place to relax, you have a place to pray, you have a place to dress, you have the that is all the house is all about. Why would they not make want to make your house a, a living here? Child of God, the Bible says that He has given us the power. To tread upon serpent and scorpion, and they shall by no means hurt you. He has given you the authority to pull down, to uproot. The Lord has given us the power, and they shall by no means hurt you. Don't let them make you crawl out from your home. Like, oh, this house is no longer comfortable for me. Oh, this house, I'm no longer happy when I'm here. Oh, this house, when I lie down, they come to oppress me. Oh, this house, when I'm alone, it seems I see somebody is with me. Oh, this house, when I'm walking, it seems I see somebody. Oh, this house, the Lord says, sanitize the house. Because the power has been given to you. You have the blood of Jesus, remember. You have the blood of Jesus. And there is nothing that can stand against the blood. There is nothing. <laughs> oh, if only you know the power that you carry in the blood. If only you know the power that you carry in the blood. The blood of Jesus. It is something that no power can really, can really fight. You know? No power. The Bible said they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. So you must stand your ground. This is not a matter of, oh, be afraid, oh, read the Bible, oh, hide, oh, go pack out of your house. No. This is the Lord telling you that he has given you that place. No power will not come and make your own house a place of torment, a place of hell, a place of pain, a place of agony. You need to take over the territory. Yes. Take over the territory. The, 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 Sometimes the reason why our home becomes a place where we are no longer comfortable, it is because the powers of the land in that territory, they don't want us to be settled in that territory, in that place, in that building, in that community, <laughs> in that nation. So the territory, the territorial powers, sometimes we want to make your home a place where there is no comfort at all like a war zone so that you can run out where are you running to we have to face it because running to running away does not solve the problem child of god we will face the battle we will not just face the battle and we will win the battle we will face the battle we will not just face the battle and we will win the battle the lord is warning somebody about your house don't give the devil a chance to make your house a living hell. Sanitize your home. Anything that wants to invade your household, invade them with the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, when they shall come in, come rushing in like a flood, 
the spirit of the Lord will raise the standard. And I pray that God will raise the standard against your enemies in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.